Whistle 100 WSSL, Paul Stone in the afternoon, and Lee Bryce joining us on the show. Welcome, Lee. Hey, what's going on? You're our very own from Sumter, South Carolina. That's right. Give us a good memory from Sumter. Well, I used to go to my buddy's, uh, my daddy's best friend. Well, his sons were my best friends, so we used to go over to their farm in, in the summertime. And, and uh, the best memories were taking BB guns when we were too young to do that, and mm-hmm. just hunting stuff all day long, and going on <laughs> adventures. But before we did that, of course, we had to do work on the farm, so we were picking up dead chickens and stuff. So, so that that wasn't the best memory, but the best memory was being able to go on safaris and adventures as kids. We probably shouldn't have been doing that. We were like 10, but uh-huh. we were two miles in the woods, but it was so awesome. Yeah, BB guns. Shoot whatever moves, right? That's right. Even if it is your sibling, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, first off, huge congratulations in order. Not only uh, did you get an ACM award for uh, writing the Eli Young Band's Crazy Girl with Liz Rose, you now got your own number one with a woman like you. Congratulations. Oh, man, thank you so much. It feels uh, so good to have, have that stuff happen and you know, after all this time and uh, mm-hmm. having to be away from South Carolina sucks. So it's good to have the other good stuff is going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And I just uh, heard it announced you're going to be performing at the Chevrolet Riverfront stage at this year's CMA Music Fest in Nashville. Oh, yeah, man. That'll, on the river, man. That'll be, it's always a great time. And uh, so, yeah, we can't wait to do that. All right. Well, I actually got to enjoy some of the ACMs. I went out there to Vegas. I didn't go to the to the show, but uh, I kind of, you know, went out there and gambled a little bit. <laughs> and we got to see you go up there on stage for the song of the year, Crazy Girl. Some by Eli Young Band, but you are the one that wrote it with Liz Rose. And I saw that you went up on stage and you tried to accept it. I feel like you should have been able to give some of your acceptance speech. Is there a side story to what happened there? No, I mean, you know what? The truth is, those guys, it was their first ACM, and you know, it's mine too, but they've worked so hard, and that song has been such a part of their their life. They, they've, you know, lived and breathed that song for the last year, you know, and so I was excited for them. They were excited, and I was excited for them. So, you know, I, I'm glad that they got to, to thank everybody. You know, I I was just happy to be up there, and, and Liz and I, we just thank each other, you know. <laughs> you guys look like you were having a good time. Did you have a good time in Vegas? I had a great time. You know, I'm not a big late-night Vegas gambling dude. I'm more of a Vegas pool, go to the pool during the day kind of mm-hmm. guy. I'm a water baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I like to be in the water and the sun and, and relax. Cause I, I don't get to do that stuff very often. So, But I love being by that pool and stuff. That's my Vegas. Oh, place. I bet you guys probably had a, a sweet pool wherever you were. Yeah, man. We had a, a cool little pool. We were at the MGM, actually. And, oh, uh, yeah. And uh, there's always fun to be had there. My pool closed at like 6 p.m. I didn't even know what was going on. I had <laughs> well, they beer. make you do that. They close those pools because they want you to go in there and gamble. I- I'll milk <laughs> it for the la- every minute they give you. Yeah. Okay, Lee, tell us a little bit about A Woman Like You. Where did you get the inspiration for this song? Well, you know, uh, inspiration was my good buddy because he's the one that wrote it. You know, John Stone, I actually didn't write this song. And, okay. And uh, he came to me one day and said, Lee, I wrote a song today. I-, I think you need to hear it. And so he played me this song, and I just flipped out. I said, dude, what a smash. And and I uh, connected with it, so so we we demoed it, and, and everybody fell in love with it. And next thing you know, it's on the radio and screaming for us. You know, mm-hmm. Nothing's ever moved this fast for us up the charts, and and uh, here we are sitting at number one. It's crazy. Yeah, and hopefully we can keep it going, get uh, get number one for even longer. <laughs> Heck yeah! It's the first single off of the album Hard to Love. It's going to be due out April twenty fourth. Tell us a little bit about this new album. Well, uh, it's definitely a snapshot of, of who I've been the last you know year of my life, and and uh, you know a lot of things have changed for me, and and uh, and uh, it all kind of shows on the album, uh, lyrically and emotionally. But but uh, but it's also fun, man. And, and we dug in and had a lot of fun on this record. And musically, did some cool stuff, and so I'm just I'm just uh, so anxious to to get it out there and see what people think. Mm-hmm. I've only had a sampler here, and it's a tease. It sounds incredible. And now I just want more. I want the whole thing. <laughs> Now, well, it's coming soon. I know. I'm glad it's. we don't have to wait too long. April 24th, it'll be in stores. Now, I'm going to get a little bit mushy on you. Uh-oh. Uh, I hear there's a, a really sweet story behind how you found the love of your life, Sarah Reevely. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was actually uh, I was actually on the beach, in, uh, in Myrtle Beach. And, uh, and uh, you know how everybody from Ohio and Indian, they all come to Myrtle Beach. It's like, it's really funny. You'll be walking on the beach and as kind of a local and... Everybody you meet's from, you know, at a certain week, they're from a certain place. And, and so this week I was walking on the beach and of course we were young guys and this is 10 years ago or more and young guys looking to, to go talk to girls. And, oh yeah. And, uh, it was a rainy night and uh, there was nobody on the beach and luckily she walked by and I, I, uh, I noticed her and I was like, what in the world is this girl? And she, she went and sat down on the beach. So I went and plopped down beside her and you know, that was about the end of the story right there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's great. You know, and then we were friends for th- through college and, and mm-hmm. for a long time. And so then I got on the road for my first radio tour and I got to go through her town. And, uh, you know, she came out to dinner and, 
and uh, we just reconnected. So that, after all those years, and you know, she's still, she was still, uh, shoot, I think she got prettier. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do? Do you <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got her in now. You're engaged now. Congratulations That's on that. Right. You're probably thinking a 2013 wedding, right? Is there a date? Yeah, there's not really a date, uh, but uh there's uh we're looking, you know, next spring is kind of what we're looking at Ooh, right now. Yeah, all right. So a year from yeah. now. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll expect uh, an invitation. All you know, right. I don't need to go to the ceremony, just the reception would be uh, cool. Okay. Cool with me. Well, congratulations to you, Lee, and your family on the wonderful success that you've had so far and uh from what i'm hearing i i'm thinking 2012 this is your year my friend brother i appreciate that and and it sure does feel good and we couldn't be uh, more thankful and and uh and it's always so good to, to talk to you guys back home all right well lee bryce everybody on whistle 100 thanks for coming on the show yes sir